Hi, this is Dr. G. P. V. Subbaya, spine surgeon, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss about uh, slip disc or a disc prolapse. First of all, we should know what exactly is this intervertebral disc. If you look at the structure of the spine, the, the spine is made up of blocks of bone and these blocks are known as uh, vertebral bodies, vertebrae, we call them vertebrae. And it, between every two bones, that means between every two vertebral bodies, this cushion-like material is called an intervertebral disc. The function of the disc is to act like a shock absorber. If you look at the veh vehicles, we have shock absorbers. So likewise, this intervertebral disc acts like a shock absorber. The most of the spinal problems we see in our practice they come from these intervertebral discs. The most common problem of these intervertebral discs is a disc prolapse or a slip disc. What happens, this disc can slip back and press on the nerves. Say for example, if it happens in the lower back, it can press on the nerves coming to the leg. Whereas if it happens in the neck, it can press on the nerves coming to the left hand, I mean coming to the hand and if it happens in the dorsal spine that is the spine behind your chest, it can press on the spinal cord. So if it happens in the lower back, lower back is known as lumbar spine, we call it a lumbar disc prolapse. If it happens in the neck, neck is known as the cervical spine, this is called, if it happens in the neck it is called cervical disc prolapse. If it happens in the chest, the spine behind your chest, that is called thoracic disc prolapse or dorsal disc prolapse. 